kids. It's Miss Letha. I'm here in our kids' worship room, and I wanted to come to you today and remind you of some things that we talked about yesterday. Uh, first of all, our Bible verse that we were learning for Lent, which is the season we're in now, right before Easter, and it's coming up really, really soon. It's 2 Thessalonians 5, 17. It says, don't ever stop praying. Let's see if we can do that. Don't ever stop praying. Praying, 2 Thessalonians 5, 17. So remember that one. We're going to learn that. We're going to say that all through the rest of the month and through Easter, okay? So that's our, our prayer verse. We also had another verse that we talked about on Sunday. It's 1 Peter 5, 7. If you look at that, it tells us that we don't have to worry because we can cast all of our worries on Jesus because he cares for us, doesn't he? And we know that because we say it all the time. I love you and Jesus loves you best of all. So let's see if we can remember that verse coming up for the next couple of weeks. 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your worries on him, Jesus, because he cares for you. Okay? So we're going to cast all of our worries on Jesus because he cares for us. He loves us very, very, very much. So now, going back to yesterday, I asked you to do something. I asked you to look up a verse in the Bible from Psalm. Psalm 26, verse 6 and 7. I don't know how many of you did that, but if you did, it's talking about washing our hands. And we know that's real important right now to wash our hands on the front and the back and in between and all around and doing our fingers. We want to make sure I get our, we get our hands really, really, really good and clean. And we do it very often because we want to keep those old germs away that you cannot see. They're there even when you can't see them. So we want to wash those away, okay? But our verse says, I wash my hands in innocence and I go about your altar, Lord, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling all your wonderful deeds. Here it is right here, Psalm 26, verses 6 through 7. And I ask you a question. I ask you, what was it that we do after we wash our hands? Well, in that verse, we can see, first, we wash our hands. And at the end of that verse, it says, we are proclaiming aloud your praise and telling all your wonderful deeds. So what, are we, what is that verse telling us? It says, to, it's talking about cleaning our hearts. But we, it tells us to wash our hands, doesn't it? And we're supposed to be coming before the Lord's presence, loving Him in purity of heart, just loving Him and wanting to do what is right. And then because we know the love of Jesus, we're going to proclaim, we're going to tell all His wonderful works and His deeds because God is so good to us. He loves us. We want to remember all the good things He's done. So during this time, I want you to do me, uh, do me a favor. And I want you to, to challenge this to your family as well. I want to see how many creative ways we can come up with to proclaim the love of Jesus and to proclaim all his mighty works and all the wonderful things that he does. So we can tell it, like I'm sharing it right now with you on video. You can share it with your family and friends through FaceTime or through videos or writing notes or sending texts. You can share God's word and his love with others that way. But there are also some other ways. I've got a picture of some of our kids that have done a beautiful mural, a chalk mural on their driveway. And it's a beautiful stained glass window with a cross right in the middle. So everyone in the neighborhood that comes by can see that. That's proclaiming the wonderful love of Jesus and his deeds. So think of some ways you can do that. And if you come up with some kind of projects at home, and I'm going to share some of those as I get pictures of those, and I will send those out to you uh, through video as well. But you send those pictures to me, and I'll post some of those along with uh, our little video chats that we get to have. I'm so glad that I can still communicate with you. Feel free to get uh, your parents to help Send something from you to me either by email or text or through pictures. And like I said, I want to share as much as we can. We're looking at trying to get a Zoom conference started, so uh, be looking for that pretty soon. I love you, and Jesus loves you best of all. Take care. Till next time, see you later.